Hello and welcome to this update video about the display demo. So I've made a few nice changes I want to talk about in this video. So we're going to talk about here this uh, first example with icons and JSON display. And here we have another e-ink display that's receiving uh, display input um, via UDP. Um, yeah, we are using uh, the small um, ESP uh, chips um, from the ESP runtime. I've made another video about that or making another video about that. Um, yeah, so let's uh, talk a bit how I made this example and why I make this. Um, yeah, if you're familiar with the other video uh, about the display demo, I explained a bit the, the image stuff and so on. And I wanted to make my own uh, display application and yeah, uh, I came up with another idea that made it simpler for the computer for the controller. So um, yeah, this uh, display demo here when I press uh, the boot button. Oh, now I messed up a bit. So no, the restart when I press the boot button. Um, yeah, I can switch through these icons um, that show you which uh, a set of icons that you can use with the runtime and uh, yeah. So let's talk about how I made this um, example and talk a bit about the JSON display idea. So let's go to the model. This is the one we are running. Ah, oh, yeah, here you see I uh, yeah messed up a bit uh, with uh, with the stuff. So yeah, it's not connected. Uh, let's reconnect this, but it's not important because we want to talk about the model. We are running model ESP32, and this is the model. Here's the GPIO input for the boot button, it's pin 9. Um, then this button is inverted and goes into a state machine. And then, so yeah, uh, then the state machine sends out a JSON file and this JSON file is converted into an image. This image, image is rotated because, uh, yeah, this display is flipped here. Um, that's not in the demo. I uh, added this uh, a few seconds ago, and here's the SSD uh, display. So, yeah, that's uh, straightforward. So, um, yeah, let's talk a bit how this works. So, here's the state machine, and here in this init function, I define a, um, a JSON output. And a JSON uh, description here, and uh, then I just go to the count to the count here, and this increments this stuff here. And this is the counter. This is uh, this counter you see here, and that's incremented here. And uh, when I press a button, I make these changes here, and then uh, I go back here to the counter. So pretty straightforward and um, yeah <laughs> simpler than you think because this out display so we have a variable here out it's a JSON it's initialized here and this shows all the stuff that is shown on the display so we start with this line here it has an uh, it's uh, 13 pixels below zero so this is this line here and we have a status text so yeah let's go back here so yeah it's a large JSON file then we have the battery icon that's not displayed then we have an icon here that's changed with the button and we have the counter text here so what you build is a tree with elements and these elements are in a JSON and this JSON is uh, sent to the output here. So uh, out display, it's called out display here. So yeah. Um, and then it's rendered into an image with this JSON display um, node. Yeah, you can access the code here and uh, yeah. And then it's displayed to this image. So the interesting thing is, and we go to the GitHub page here, what can we do? So what can we add here as, 
as JSON element. So um, basically we have um, an object and let's go back here to show it to you. We have an object with several elements. They are accessible by name and can have other elements too. So we sent the counter, we added the counter and added the text property and add the counter here. Or we uh, change the icon to the next icon here. So icon name is edited and so on. And this can, yeah, this is a tree with uh, a lot of elements and you can put other elements into this tree. Um, yeah, and here's the description. So you can add a box element, a text element, an icon element, a line element, a horizontal line, a vertical line. And that's basically all that you need to draw nice displays. So, um, yeah, so here you see we have a line type, horizontal line, text, icon, another text. The box is not shown here, but the box is shown in the other example we talk about in a few minutes. So basically you build a tree, a JSON tree, and you can render this JSON tree. And the nice thing is you make a main tree one time and then you just edit the tree uh, like you do with JSON. So um, yeah, very, very simple very interesting um yeah there's many things have uh, this display attribute so you can enable and disable them just via parameters so you can have a large display and just so show the things that you want now uh, that's so um very very simple and there's no need for a controller class anymore so uh yeah just uh send json um yeah and the easy stuff is to that you have a big screen here or a lot of elements and just update the changes um that you uh yeah just make the updates and not the whole stuff anymore so that's the concept it's very powerful it's uh uh the same as html so it's from the same concept as HTML, it's also a huge tree that's rendered. So um, yeah, very, very simple. Um, yeah, I hope you like it. And let's show you the next example. So um, that's what we have here. We have an e-ink display and uh, we can connect to Wi-Fi and send uh, JSON stuff here that's rendered to this display. So um, yeah, it's a bit more intuitive. I wanted to show the other example first because it shows how you can in interact and program with it and yeah, how to make small changes and uh, for, for programmability. I think the next example shows you a bit more in detail um, the general concept. So let's turn this one off and put this one in here. So you can see everything. Yeah, about this we talk about this later. So uh, now open another project and we, this is the EPD. So what we have here is a UDP receiver. I start this. Um, a UDP receiver that takes the the string passes it, it to a JSON and then calls this JSON display um, node and uh, sends this to the PD. And uh, yeah, this comes from UC devices here. And here, yeah, just the normal stuff. We talked about this uh, later. So now we're connecting to our Wi Fi and wait until it's connected. We have um, called this uh, ESP EPD demo. And what we can do now is, yeah, we can ping it, ping e EPD demo.local 
it should work yeah it works it's there of course and uh, what we can do now is we can send JSON to this EPD demo so we copy this is it this yeah so yeah and now it's updating hello and we can change this oh it's not fitting on this yeah and uh, this is how to make a small add a small display to your Wi-Fi this is a more uh, general uh, example so let's copy this yeah and uh, this is basically how it's works. it works it's uh, rendered JSON so what we can do is we can alter here for example a text hello to and we can for example display now let's do this first now it's writing hello too and what i want to do now is i want to disable this icon and this is here so this is a box here we have a box and inside this box there's another box and this box has an icon and we want to alter this icon and we say it should not be displayed the disp and now it's not displayed for example that's how you can turn off stuff and of course you can also turn off boxes so let's turn this back on uh, yeah here this uh, AL means alignment and now let's turn on off all the buttons this oh no so now that the buttons are not displayed so yeah pretty pretty simple um, I hope you enjoyed it play around with it have fun and Thank you for watching.